Hello everyone, uh, continuation of the problems from the unit defy uh, that is problems on the uh, like different uh, uh, types of portfolio okay different types of portfolio so in that we have done beta calculation so moving on to the beta calculation so in the previous class we have covered the basic problems on that so question paper problem if you take it from the year june july 2015 case study problem i just read out the problem go through that the following information on it's a question paper from june july 15 12 mba fm 322 12 kim question paper case study it is following information is on stock price of company abc and stock index is given Index value is 904, 845, 874, 847, 849 and 835 and also they have given ABC stock price. Okay, so I, we just write down, uh, let assume um, the index value is uh, uh, X and ABC stock is Y. So we have to consider separately index value is X. So please write down the index value, consider it as X. index value index value that is 904 845 874 847 849 835 okay we have to consider next index value for the abc stock is y we have to consider separately price The price of that is 597, 570, 582, 559, 554 and 545 they have given. Okay, so next uh, the question is determine the value of beta stock determine the value of beta of stock second question calculate the value of alpha and establish crl characteristic regression line third one if the market return is 10 percent per annum what would be the stock return what is the overall risk of the stock in terms of standard deviation assuming equal probability for all the return this is the uh, like uh, question they have asked okay so we have to assume let assume index values x and abc stock price is y okay so you take the index value here okay so uh, here we have to apply the average return we have done it in the second unit that is average return or annual return is equal to total gain divided by base year value all into 100 so we have to apply the AR formal that is average return or annual return is equal to total gain divided by uh, base year value all into 100. So in order to find out the total gain so we have to consider whether there is a capital appreciation or not and also we have to consider the dividend. So in the problem they have not given the dividend. Okay, so next uh, we have to consider the base year value. So base year value how much we have to consider. So then by applying the formula, we can find out the annual return or average return for both uh, index value and the uh, price. So this is considered as X and this is considered it as Y. Okay, so moving on, first you do it for X. So you take whether there is a capital appreciation or not. Yes, there is a capital appreciation here take the calculator so uh, first year it is nil we don't have a capital appreciation 904 then second 845 minus 904 there is a uh, capital depreciation of minus 59 you take it next moving on moving on to 87 874 minus 845 29 it is plus next 847 minus 890 874 874 it is minus 27 okay next next uh, 849 minus 847 okay so we have a plus 2 next 835 minus 849 so we have minus 14 
okay we have minus 14 so this is called capital appreciation we have depreciation as well as appreciation you can take capital appreciation or depreciation so next moving on to dividend so we don't have a dividend so dividend is nil okay so dividend is nil in all the cases they have not given any information pertaining to dividend so next moving on to base year value okay base year value b y v base year value so base year for the first it is not there so it is nil next second base year is first one subsequently you take 845 8 74, 847, 849 and 830, 840, 904, 845, 874, 847, 849, 835. Okay. So last year will not come. Only we have five only we have five okay okay eight four nine we got it so next moving on to apply the formula find out the x rx return of x you can find out so return of x or average uh, return you can find out average return is equal to apply the formula what is the formula for that that is total gain divided by uh, base year value all into 100 we have to apply this formula okay so you will get to know so first uh, total gain so dividend uh, is nil the capital appreciation or depreciation is considered as a total gain if you have a dividend we could have had a dividend along with the capital appreciation then we could have got uh, that is total gain so here total gain is capital appreciation only so minus 59 divided by 904 to base year value into 100 so you will get minus 6.53 minus 6.53 okay so same thing for the subsequent you do it 29 divided by 845 into 100. So, you will get 3.43, 3.43. Next, minus 27 divided by 874 into 100. So, you will get minus 3.09 approximately, minus 3.09. Next, 2 divided by 847 into 100. So, you will get 0 0.24 approximately, you will get 0 0.24 average return. Next, minus 14 divided by 849 all into 100. So, you will get minus 1.65, minus 1.65. You will get it. Okay. This is how we will do average return or annual return. So, we did it for x by uh, taking uh, for index value. Then again, we do it for y for uh, stock price, ABC stock price. Okay, so do, do capital appreciation. So, first year nil, second year 570, there is a depreciation, 570 minus 597, it is minus 27, 582 minus 570, it is 12, next 559 minus 582, it is minus 23. 554 minus 559 it is minus 5 5 5 4 5 
minus 5 5 4 it is minus 9 ok. So, we got minus 27 12 then minus 23 minus 5 and minus 9 it is ok. This is how we got it. Next dividend is nil here also we do not have a dividend. Next we have uh, base here. So, base here you take it. So, it is 5, 9, 7 then 5, 70, 5, 82, 5, 5, 9, 5, 5, 4 then find out the average return that is minus 27 divided by 597 all into 100. So, you will get minus 4.5 minus 4.5 next 12 divided by 570 all into 100. So, you will get 2.10 ok you will get 2.10 next minus 23 divided by 582 all into 100 you will get minus 3.95 or you can take 96 also next uh, minus 5 divided by 559 all into 100 so, you will get minus 0 0.89. Lastly, minus 9 divided by 554 all into 100. So, you will get minus 1.62. This is x, okay. This is the return of x and this is the return of y. We got x and y return fine. So, next moving on to continuation of that you have to find out uh, like what uh, x uh, square then x y we have to take x uh, then uh, x square then x y we have to do it this is called total x this is called total y ok. So, then moving on to x square x square we have to do it x square we have to do it minus 6.53 square value you will get minus 42.6409 minus 42.6409 ok. Next 3.43 square value is you will get 11.7649 11.7649 next minus 3.09 square value you will get minus 9.5481 okay minus Oh, square value right minus into minus plus it is we will get 9.5481 ok. So, minus into minus plus are there so it does not come 3.09 into 3.09 9.5481 okay. 0 0.24 into 0 0.24 you will get 0. 0 0.0576 0 0.0576 next 1.65 into 1.65 we'll get 2.7225 okay so we get like this 9.5481 okay Yes, then we want x, y together x into y you, we have to do it. 
x into y x is this one and this is y first no value it is nil minus 6.53 into minus 4.5 so we will get 29.385 you will get 29.385 next 3.43 into 2.10 you will get 7.203 next minus 3.09 into minus 3.95 so you will get 15.405 okay minus 27 divided by 87 4 okay next moving on to 0 0.24 into minus 0 0.89 so we will get minus 0 0.2136 okay so you will get minus value for this one next minus 1.62 into minus 1.65 you will get 2.673 2.673 you will get it so you do sum of this 385 plus 7.203 plus 15.405 plus 2.673 so you will get 54.45 four this is called sigma x y hope you got it fine Next moving on to next moving on to apply the uh, formula of beta apply the formula of beta next so n is how much here n is 5 n is equal to 5 x bar you find out y bar is you have to find out x bar is equal to total of this sigma x divided by n so find out the sigma x how much it is minus first 3.43 plus 0.24 minus 6.53 minus 3.09 minus 1.5 Six five. So we will get seven point six minus seven point six sigma x divided by five. Same thing you do it for y minus first you take plus two point one zero minus four point five minus three point nine five minus zero point eight nine minus 1.62 so i will get minus 
8.86 by 5. So minus 7.6 minus 7.6 divided by 5 you will get minus 1.52 next 8.86 divided by minus 8.86 divided by 5 you will get minus 1.77 this is called calculation of x bar and y bar okay so then apply the formula of beta and find out how much apply the formula of beta i'll just rub the board We have to take some values here to calculate beta. So, beta is equal to sigma xy minus n x bar into y bar divided by sigma x square minus n into x bar whole square. Okay, x bar whole square. We have to take it. So, apply that sigma xy sigma x y how much you got we got 54 point how much you got 54.47 something you got n is equal to 5 x bar is equal to how much you got minus uh, uh, 7.6 y bar is equal to minus 8.8 minus 8.8 sorry one point one point sorry sorry the sigma x y l so it is minus one point five two and y bar is minus one point seven seven sigma x square so you take the sigma x square sigma x square how much you will get total of that you do you will get 66 point you will get 66 point 734 minus 5 x bar is equal to you will get 1 minus 1.52 whole square so do the sum of this you will get beta of 0. 6868 0 0.6868 you will get it okay this is the answer for first question next second question that is what is that calculate the value of alpha and establish crl so calculate the alpha there is a formula alpha is equal to what is the formula alpha is equal to r bar y we have to consider r bar y then beta then r x r bar x we have to take it so what is the r bar y it is minus 1.778 beta is equal to 0 0.6868 uh, 6, totally you can take it and r bar x it is minus 1.52 Okay. So we will get zero point seven three four one. This is alpha calculation. So then moving on to characteristic line of that, find out the characteristic line. We have to do characteristic line. Okay, so characteristic line, uh, you take uh, 
there is a formula for that one also alpha c l is equal to c l is equal to uh, we have to take the alpha plus beta into r x ok. So, alpha you got it how much it is 0 0.7341. So, total you can take it for 5 it is common beta also common 0 0.6868. Okay, fine. So, we have to take like this, then we have to take x value of x you suppose to take it value of x we have to take it. So, last table we have to take it that is minus 6.53 then what is it? It is 3.43. Then it is minus 3.09 is not it next 0 0.24 last table in the copy mark over minus 1.65 so calculate how much you will get So, you will get minus 5.22, 1.62, minus 2.86, 0 0.57 and 1.86. Okay. So, this much you are going to get as a characteristic line. This is the answer for second question. Got it? Next, moving on to the third question and answer that is if the market return is 10 percent per annum what would be the stock return let us calculate I'll drop the board Question number 3, third one it is. So, if the market return is 10 percent, if the market return is 10 percent, what would be the stock return? What would be the stock return? Stock return is question mark. Okay. If market return is 10 percent, what is the individual stock return? So, we have to uh, apply the formula of alpha. So, we apply the formula of alpha because through that we can find out. Uh, so, alpha um, uh, beta we consider ok. So, beta we consider alpha we consider then we also consider uh, the return of the particular stock the return of the particular stock and also the return of the market ok. So, uh, stock return is equal to stock return is equal to alpha plus beta into r x ok. So, alpha already we got it that is uh, 0 0.734 we already got it it is in the form of minus. Then uh, beta also already we we have found 68680. 6868. Eight. So, Rx is 10 percent here. So, find out how much you will get. So, I will get 6.1339. So, the stock return is 6.13 percent you can take it 6.13 percent you can take it 6.13 percent this is the answer for type question.
got it next moving on to the fourth one what is the overall risk of the stock in term of standard deviation assuming equal probability uh, for all the return so we have to find out the overall risk of the stock in terms of standard deviation in terms of standard deviation so here we have to do y return particular y return uh, we have to consider probability also we have to consider okay then uh, we have to find out the y bar then y minus y bar y bar y minus y bar all square then p into y minus y bar all square then we have to apply the standard deviation of y that is sigma p y minus y bar all square we have to find out fine so take a table for that just rub it fourth question it is okay you take y return return of y return of y we have to consider fine so return of y is already we have find 4.52 and uh, it is 2.10 it is minus 3.96 and it is 0 0.89 minus 0 0.89 and the lastly it is minus 1.62 okay this is called y then probability we have to consider it is 0.2 same for all done next do y bar y bar we have to do it then we have to do uh, y minus y bar then y minus y bar all square lastly p into y minus y bar all square okay so do y bar do y bar y bar is equal to y into probability minus 4.52 into 0 0.2 so you will get minus 0 0.90 0 0.90 next 2.10 into 0 0.2 you will get 0 0.42 next minus 3.96 into 0 0.2 you will get minus 0 0.79 next 0. Point minus 0 0.89 into 0.2 you will get minus 0 0.18 approximately you can take it minus 0 0.18 next minus 1.6262 into 0.2 okay you will get minus 0 0.32 this is called y bar got it 0 0.32 this is how we calculate next go for y minus y bar do go for y minus y bar you do it minus 4.52 total of this you have to do it total of this you have to do it so you will get minus 1.77 then go for y minus y bar you will get minus 2.75 so you will get 3.87 next so you will get 
minus 2.19 So the fourth year you will get 0 0.88, you will get 0 0.15, this is y minus y bar. Then go for square of that, you will get minus 7.56 plus into plus minus into minus it's plus 7.56 next 3.87 you will get 14.98 uh, next 2.19 into 2.19 you will get 4.7 you will get 4.80 approximately we can take it 4.80 Eight zero. Next, zero point eight eight. Square of that will get zero point seven seven. Next, zero point one five. Will get zero point zero two. This is called y minus y bar square. Then multiply that into p seven point five six into 0.2 you will get 1.512 then uh, 0.2 into 14.98 you will get 2.996 next 4.80 into 0.2 you will get 0 0.96 third year then next 0 0.77 into 0 0.2 you will get 0 0.15 next uh, 0 0.02 into 0 0.2 you will get 0 0.004 okay so total of this you do So you will get 5.62, 5.62, you will get it, okay. Then apply the formula, standard deviation, standard deviation you have to apply, standard deviation of y is equal to uh, p y minus y bar sigma uh, whole square root of that. 5.62 if you do root 5 point so you will get 2.37 this is called calculation of standard deviation got it this is how we do it. Thank you so much.